All right, so before this video gets started, I do wanna mention that we got some brand new merch on the website. First off, I'm gonna start with our brand new gray t-shirt right here with blue. It's a super awesome design and it's a super comfortable t-shirt as well. And we are stocking on one of our best sellers right here in a brand new color. There's not very many of them, so those are just gonna fly off the shelves. And you might've noticed all the new colors that we have in the hats here. And we even got some brand new designs. Check this out right here, dude. That is awesome. You got it in the red and the blue. It just got the fade effect on it. And we even got like some white camo. And my personal favorite right here that we're dropping for the holidays is the American flag hat right here. So if you guys wanna copy some merch before this video gets rolling, definitely be sure to visit gunsquad.com and help support your boys. Dang, son, check this side out. Better yet, check out those body gaps. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on the 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. And as you've seen in the previous video, we started on the framework, but there is still a lot more to go. We're actually starting off here at the dealership because we did have to pick up a few more parts just to continue but as of right now we're going to catch you guys at v shop and just pick up where we left off but anyways we're going to move on to the next thing and that is probably start removing this outer skin right yeah we're going to start with removing this entire skin right here because we want to see exactly what else we need to replace in here so we're going to remove the entire skin it's going to go all the way down like this and then end right here and you did say there is like a ton of different ways we could do this but we're just going to try to i guess focus on the front and probably like cut it right here and focus on the quarter panel yeah, the main later. thing we want to do is get the skin of, of it off and then we can see exactly what sections we can splice into it. it yeah exactly Alright, so check that out. The outer skin is finally removed and we're basically just removing that just to see the damages. Yeah, right? just to see the damages and see exactly where we're going to be replacing this piece right here. So at first I was thinking about just removing it right here and splicing another one in, but we did decide to just go ahead and replace this entire piece going down since we do have it and it is brand new. And then we're going to just splice it in up here. We have a couple spot welds right there and then some over here. So basically we're going to take this piece off and then slide the new one under here and it's going to line up Sweet, really nice. yes. And good thing that we are replacing this right here because this is where the, the door hinges are and it's just gonna make sure that door lines up perfectly, yeah, right? Yeah, and you can actually see right here that the hinge pillar is pushed in a little bit. I'm guessing when it rolled over, it pushed the door into there. Ooh, so yeah. we will be replacing that too. And also we did pick up some parts from the dealership this morning. We got Check our roof out. piece finally in, so roof that's piece. a good sign right We're gonna here. be moving on to that here real soon. And this right here, I believe is our quarter panel piece. Yeah, it's the inner quarter panel structure in the back. Which that, that'll be a minute before we get to this piece. We still got a bunch of oh, work yeah, over here. A lot of work in the front, but it's getting there slowly. But you, are you just going to start drilling it out pretty much? Uh, well, see, the thing is we have to drill over here. We're going to have to drill it out. And then over there, we're going to have to belt sand it because here we're going to drill it out and then slide the new piece and re-weld it in. All right. So I guess let's just get it. Let's get on to it.
All right, so check this out, guys. We've got a bunch of metal right here that just makes this Jeep look absolutely insane right now, dude. It's basically naked right now, but we did get this piece off right here, and we're actually gonna take a little break from doing the front section in here because we need to move on to the back and see exactly what we're gonna have to do in the back where the quarter panel is because there is some damage right here and we still don't know how bad it is inside so we might have to actually splice the entire side all the way in so i'm guessing let's go ahead and probably take out this window right here and then start taking off these plastic things and basically you're going to do some pulls right now yeah, right? Do some pulls on this back section right here it did take a little bit of a hit. So I'll take a lick right there. Pull that out and then probably pull that out up there and then remove the whole quarter panel. But as for the splicing sections, there is a splicing section right here, right? It's like a, what do you call this? It's like a, a factory splicing section right here. As you can see, it's like a laser seam welded. Which we're most likely just gonna cut this off, take this piece out and it's gonna get, a new one's gonna be put in right yeah, there. Because this piece actually goes all the way under here and you'd have to take off this entire rail to replace it like that. But they do offer a splicing section, so it makes it a lot easier. So basically we just don't know how far we're gonna have to, we could splice in right here. There's another splice in the section about right there, but we're not sure if we need to go all yeah, the way back, sure right? Yeah, we're not sure if this piece right here is damaged back here and that's what that is on there. And we don't wanna be taking it apart and then having to re-weld it for no right. reason. All right, so a couple of pulls were just made to this quarter panel right here. And of course we did have to remove all this stuff over here, the gas lines mainly because the way nothing catches on fire, remove that glass. But where did you mainly do the pulls? We did most of the pulling up here. As you can see, this is where the main damage is. Mm -hmm. So we did some pulling up there. We did some tapping inside and straighten most of it out. And we also did a little bit of pulling right here. And now what we need to do is basically remove the quarter panel. So get rid of all the spot welds, pull it off. What else we have to pull or replace underneath the quarter panel? As for the inner structure over there, you did say some of that stuff was coming out real nice. Yeah, so pull that really nice and we just tap it out and straighten it out. So it's looking good over there. I guess we'll just have to take a better look once this quarter panel is yeah, removed exactly. to, to really decide if we're going to swap that out or not. But I guess what do you want to do? Start clearing out all these seams or whatever? Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of all these spot welds and pull this thing off. All right, so check that out, guys. That's the old quarter panel right there. Finally came off, just completely yanked that sucker off. And you did find some more damage behind it, right? Yeah, we found a little bit of damage right here on the wheel well, but we already uh, tapped it all out. It came out really easy. It's really soft metal. And then we do have a little bit right here. So what we're gonna do is probably do a little bit more pulling on this piece right here and then start straightening everything up. We'll probably clean off all the seam sealer. Yeah and some of these welds so we can get it ready for the new quarter panel. And then after we do all that, we're gonna probably go ahead and start working on getting this piece right here on. Cause we still don't know exactly where we're gonna splice it in. That's why we wanna get all that cleaned up, make sure all that's nice and straight. And then we'll start seeing how we're gonna put on this piece right here. Yes, sir, dude. We are getting really close to starting to throw on some new panels here. All the new stuff is right there. There's a, there's a lot of them, man, but. Dude, we got everything just lined up dude. ready to just smack on, dude. Basically <laughs> half a car right there. Are you ready to smack it on? Let's do it. <laughs> Yeah. 
And that is it, folks. The quarter panel is finally on for good, and it is welded on, and yep. we are done. <laughs> I wish, but there is still a lot more work that needs to be done before we start welding this in. But basically, you started just cleaning everything, just prepping the surface, and you did the final pulls, right? Yeah, we did some final pulls up here. We actually had to pull this area out and then a little bit up because it was pushed down, and then we did some measuring, so everything is lining up. We kind of just put the quarter panel on just to see exactly how everything is lining up and seeing how it's going to be because it is always good to kind of just slap it on there, see exactly where we need to work it, and it just... It's kind of like a relief when the quarter panel is finally yeah. on because we've been working on it for so long Dude, already. This so, is a huge project for sure. But oh yeah, huge project. We're replacing the quarter panel, replacing all that, plus the front end, but it's coming along. Next thing that you're probably gonna do is actually leave that quarter panel alone and move on to the front end over here, right? Yes, the front end we actually have to do some more pulling on this uh, piece right here. You can see right here this bolt kind of is too far this way and you can see the gap is bigger down here and it's mm. smaller up here so this uh, top section is a little pushed in but we are going to be replacing most of it so once we give it a pull we'll cut it off and sweet sweet and i guess we'll just keep moving from there yes sir This thing is just looking crazy. Dude, if we were to literally drop it down on the four wheels, this thing would probably kind of bend, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, it would kind of flex. So that's the, the main purpose of actually setting it up level and clamping it down. That way, once you start taking apart structural pieces, it doesn't bend and flex. But dude, look at that, man. That piece is gonna get spliced right in, right? Yep, right at the laser seam, just how they recommend it. Exactly, man. Alright, so check this out guys. All the damaged inner structure pieces are finally removed and there was a lot of grinding just to get those out. Yeah, there was a lot of grinding. We had a lot of spot welds up and through here and we did only do a rough cut on the laser seam weld right there. We are going to do a nice precision cut. We just wanted to get all the metal out of there. Yep. And we also got the other piece right here out of the back. We got all that removed. That one had to get like shimmied on out. It was kind of like yeah, wedged in there. stuck in there, but we but, got it out. Yeah, you got it out. And now we know exactly where all of our splicing points are. That, yeah, that's of course, the front splicing point. And then we have another one back there. So basically what we can do is start working on getting the precision cut made on this piece right here. And then also getting the cut made over here so we can get everything nice and lined up. And once we cut it perfectly, it's simply gonna slide in there perfect and it's just gonna line yeah. just like OEM. So basically we're gonna start prepping this new piece right here and I'm pretty much just gonna mock it up and just see how everything lines up. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and do the cuts and then we'll mock it up and then we'll just continue moving on. See if we need to do any more pulling or we need to do some adjusting and then we'll start moving on to the other pieces and just start piecing this car back together. So check that out guys the inner structure is finally cut and mocked up and it fits perfectly yeah, it dude. fits up really nice and it lines up in the back it lines up pretty good in the front but now what we want to do is start prepping this uh front section this is actually the structural main basically of the entire size all the structural pieces and what we're going to do is split it right here at the spot welds that's exactly how 
it is recommended to do. And we don't really want to replace all of this because it's really just no need to. It's going to be a lot more work for the same exact results. And we want to keep it as OEM as possible, especially all of this down here. Everything's nice and spot welded. So I guess let's go ahead and start prepping this piece. We need to do some spot weld removals up here and down there. Check this out guys, so we finally got the inner structure and the middle structure on here. They are precision cut, but they're just self-tapped right now, Yeah, right? we just self-tapped it just to line it up as the best we could for now. We still have to do a lot more prepping, and we also have to do a little bit more pulling inside there. But we got everything lining up. Now we kind of want to start prepping the outer uh, skin piece right here. And then we can do our cut, our rough cuts, somewhere around there and then right there. And it'll be ready to put on, and then we could probably test fit the doors. Yeah, test fit them doors, man, because there is a lot of adjusting that yeah. we're doing right now. It's pretty dang crazy. This is a little bit more difficult than we thought, right? Oh, yeah. At but first, I, mean, I thought that it was just going to be pretty simple, you know, pull some pieces off and weld something on. But, but it's, you know, a little bit tough. But you know what? We like a challenge. I know you like a challenge, too. <laughs> we all like a challenge here. But we're learning along, along with you guys, so I guess this is pretty fun. But I guess let's just keep on moving. Dang, son, check this side out. Better yet, check out those body gaps. What do you think about them right there? Body gaps look pretty good, especially for just a first test fit. This thing came a long way. If you guys remember, this thing was all taken apart. We've got it lining up pretty good. Gaps are looking pretty decent. They still have to be adjusted a lot because we kind of just put it on with self tappers and vice grips. And the doors close pretty good. The front door and then the rear door. Dude, it is looking hey, good, man. Looking from crazy. Where it came from to right now, dude, I'm just happy with the results, man. It's been a lot of work, but after this, this is gonna completely get torn apart again. Yeah, we're right? gonna take all these parts back apart because we have to do a lot more grinding, a lot more straightening, getting everything 100% because we want, we want it to look like a $90,000 track car just like it was from the factory. Hey, that is right right there, bud. What are we gonna do next right after this? So you wanna go ahead and start tearing everything apart? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take all these panels off. We gotta take these doors off and and then take this entire piece off right here. We gotta do a lot more cleaning up, get everything ready for some welds. Exactly, and uh, before we continue, I do wanna mention something about this paint match. I think it's spot on. Hi, hey, man, what that's, would you that's say? exactly how we're gonna leave it. But, <laughs> hey, good thing that this door is already red, you know what I mean? It's not gonna take up too much paint and all we're, I think we're just gonna go ahead and just spray the yeah, whole Jeep after definitely all Definitely gonna repaint the whole entire thing. I think it's just gonna be the best way to do it, right? Just yeah. make it match. Especially make with it, this red color. Make it look like a $90,000 track car. Exactly. exactly, so I guess let's go ahead, start. We already cleaned up like this frame machine and all that good stuff all around it. So I guess let's tear it yeah, back let's down. Go ahead and just take it back apart.
All right, guys, so it is actually the next day here, and that's pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video. As you guys know, this is probably one of our biggest frame repair jobs here, a rollover Jeep, which is absolutely insane. We've already been here a couple of days, and we are just moving right along. But in the next video, we're hoping to start welding these panels on and probably even take this thing home. That way we can start doing some body work and just keep moving with the rebuilding process. But with all that being said, be sure to follow VTuned on Instagram and definitely be sure to check out his YouTube channel. I'm gonna leave his link down below. But make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on any of these track hawk videos. And be sure to follow us on Instagram where you can get inside scoop before YouTube as well. But thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.